editorial comments, um, some of which she took. <laughs> and over time, as I learned from my editors, it's part of my major education in writing is the editors who helped improve my work and gave me very good suggestions, like aha moments. Um, and if we're married, we have someone who edits our life. You know what I mean? So uh, it helps us to improve. Um, and over time, though, as she gained experience, um, she began to look over my work and made some uh, very important editorial comments. Uh, I remember my major novel, The Journeys of Socrates. I don't know if anybody read that, but she read through it, restructured it, and said, Dad, the last 300 pages really have to go. She was right. Uh, I'd let two characters, I like, hijack the story from my main character. And so, again, my writing has been shaped by hers as hers has been shaped by mine. So, In other words, uh, he turned me into his unpaid intern. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, when we started talking about about doing a book together, because it was something we'd sort of talked about for many years before it actually happened, and then you separately were talking about the idea of doing a writing book and wanting to do a writing book, and uh, the two paths sort of dovetailed, and this became kind of the ideal project for us to work together on, because it was something we both really cared about, and we come from extremely different backgrounds when it comes to writing, even though, even though, you know, it's typical nowadays if someone does the same thing as their parent, you know, you hear like a chip off the old block, or the ideas that you're following in, in someone's footsteps, and, um, and to a certain extent, you know, that was true, but at the same time, part of why we knew we could make this book work was because our styles as writers are is so very different that you would not actually...